Look, I like my bitch, red bone, ass fat, cello, light skin, yellow, iced out, hello. We've only been on the road for like an hour and you're already stopping for breakfast? It's two hours. 45 minutes. Yeah, well, stop to flick the straps again and make sure that they're good and tight. The German straps, good and tight. Yeah. Looks like we're going to be able to cruise about 75 the whole way, so we should be able to make some pretty good time, even though we're uh, yeah. grossing probably 35,000. Yeah, 75 mile an hour, uh, 100 eight, miles at a time yeah, between eight and Phillips. Yeah, miles a gallon. Yeah. <laughs> Why you got to be wearing my same shirt? I know, right? I called your wife and told her what to pack for you. Mm -hmm. I hope you like being on YouTube. He has more of a face for radio. Mm. But you look like him. <laughs> I, don't throw my I look like my mama, thank you very much. Good thing I don't. <laughs> Bullshit. I did that. Where are we? Rome, Texas. Are we in Rome? While in Rome. Yeah, while in Rome. While in Rome, spend all the money, hey. How does that feel? It, uh, it's only painful to this, this first couple times after the next uh, 10 or 12 stops. It's like paying for a hooker. Once you pay it once, then it's, you can easy the, it's easy the next couple of times. The painful part about this is, is we, uh, we, we had to get fuel uh, halfway through the day with a 68 gallon tank on the truck. Oh my gosh, the EPA is going to be on you. Sorry, EPA. Please don't suicide us. That's the ATF. I thought it was all the three-letter alphabet boys. I, I saw a thing this morning that said uh, Elon Musk offers to buy FBI <laughs> for a hundred billion dollars, but nobody knows if the Clintons want to sell yet or not. <laughs> you looking at more trucks to buy? Absolutely. You can never have too many. I see where the condition comes from. I'm trying to get one for every day of the week. Uh, didn't you already pass that up? Like, it, aren't, aren't you already there? I'm getting close. We don't, uh, we don't admit exactly how many we have, because we are married. <laughs> yeah. I hope, I, I hope people can around. relate to that. Holy shit, what? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but mostly make my wife mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who wants to take a guess on, uh, on Come, come on a little closer here. I said 32. He says 32. I say 36, 37. I don't say like 38. 32,000 even. Exactly 32,000 pounds. Nice. Ching! Exactly 32,000. How you got exactly 32,000 pounds, I have no idea. Yeah, chain swinging, clang, clang, and it costs a lot. Bitch, I'm always at the Guala, yeah, and you are not bad as beat. Keep on going till you hit the spot. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, never drop a low. Mama called me and she happy with the girl. Never yeah. ever fall for a party. Yeah, field stop number 53. We're still in Texas. <laughs> Helping the environment. I'm saving the planet. One cardboard box, a plastic jug at the time. Greta Thornburg would be, uh, proud of me very happy i think this might be my six mile a gallon problem the next day we're headed uh we're headed to southport which is a place that paul and i usually go at least once a year so a friend of ours owns a campground there and actually the campground that was in the national lampoons movie the national lampoons family vacation camp comfort camp, camp comfort yeah so it's actually a campground, working campground, and uh, our family's been going to it since the 70s. So where are we and what are we doing? We're at South Fork. We're dropping for a couple of days to uh, film some stuff in the mountains. Travis told me he's bringing his son's truck over to work on it. He asked me what he owed me. I told him just bring me beer. So yeah. Travis is gonna bring me beer. <laughs> well, what, what kind of beer are you drinking? I'll bring you some too. Budweiser. Okay. I told Travis, I said, I'm, I'm cheap, I'm just not easy. <laughs> right here? Sweet. 
That's what I said. We got one with a back porch so you can see the river. Yeah, yeah, we're on video. <laughs> Have to have these people in Aspen. Mm -hmm. I, we thought it was Aspen, but we weren't yeah. 100% sure. Any pets? No. Well, besides him. <laughs> well. Okay. Really? Mm -hmm. See a long ways. Yeah. How many miles do you think that is? A long ways. Holy cow. This is Yeehaw. Now you know why it says four wheel drive is biased. Yeah. Your tires are a little scratchy for dear life. Look at this motherfucker here in a Prius. <laughs> oh, oh no, you're kidding me. Come on. Hey, it's a Prius. I don't think it's a Prius. What the hell is this? It's a Prius. America! That is a Prius. That's a Prius. That's a Prius. Four wheel drive only. I've never been proud of somebody in a Prius until today. For the record, it's her car. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, man! Go for it! <laughs> Later. On the road again. Yep. I've been in more and more videos and I still hate my own voice. Me too. Well, it sure doesn't sound like it sounds like in my head. <laughs> it makes me want to apologize to everybody I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry you have to listen to me. One eternity later. Three thousand years later. We're gonna make it to Oregon today, hopefully. And tomorrow we'll finally get to to the show. Sir Carrie. Yeah. Hey. Hey. We just had some good pizza. Sweet. I had some good beers with my pizza too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Tomorrow evening I should be there around 7:30 or so. See you. Bye. Eventually. Well then. First victim of the trip. You know what? We'll be just fine as long as it doesn't immediately blow out again. Don't you put evil on me Ricky Bobby 20 minutes later so uh times yeah. two yeah what we got for PSI 69 nice one of my favorite numbers it almost looked like it went down but I'm not at a very good angle so uh. it held up to that turn we'll see what happens <laughs> trip into Bend last night to stay at the 
Holiday Inn Express here behind us. Um, blew out three trailer tires, which was a fun experience in and of itself in the middle of the desert, nowhere uh, at midnight. But we made it in and decided we would look for a tire shop this morning to get us back on the road. Across the street, Les Schwab. How about that? Literally just drove across the street and they get us fixed up right now. Here, look, check it out. I think so. I think what I would do is I'd get that in. <clears throat> Chris gonna dig our spares out so they can get us new tires on those. <laughs> One has seen better days. If you're not here, make plans to be here at some point in your OBS existence, because this is truly, this is truly the highest concentration of OBS forage that I've ever seen. I've just been standing here digging it. You don't even have to move. You can stand in one spot and let yep. me drive past you. Yeah. I'm Greg with Desolate Motorsport. We're a Southern California-based company. We build suspension products for OBS Broncos and pickup trucks, TTBs two-wheel drive, straight axle conversions. We kind of have a little bit of everything. The truck that we brought today is a 95, 96, excuse me, flare side F-150, and we put Super Duty axles underneath it. It's got our coilover conversion in the front, um, our leaf spring set up in the back, and then just various custom mods of bumpers and rock sliders and whatnot. Um, some of our displays are show our long travel suspension kits along with our bolt-on four-inch lifts for the Broncos and the half-ton pickups. Um, we have proprietary products like sway bar upgrades and steering kits and whatnot and we're here um, supporting these OBS guys and kind of getting into the 250 350 market with some new products that we're going to come out with soon so we're just a great crowd here and we're having a lot of fun so um, you got to check out what we make we got Brett here in his 85 f350 and it is cool Detroit powered. Yep. So he's going to talk about it a little bit and kind of go over everything with us. The motor that's in it is a 453T Detroit diesel. It's got a four speed Ford Trans that came out of the 85. And then behind that, it's got a three speed splitter behind that auxiliary right. transmission. So there's two sticks in the cab. Nice. The three speed is a underdrive, direct drive, and overdrive unit. What is the rear gear ratio? So, rear gear ratio, I just re geared it. It's so the axle, well, I guess first, the axles it has in it 85 F350 chassis and cab, but then the axles front and rear are out of a 92 Ford F Super Duty. Okay. Uh, so, so, 80. Dana 80 rear factory disc, disc up front, Hydro Boost put in this truck from the parts truck I bought. Cool. I did new stacks on it. The stacks that were on it were probably two feet taller and they were, I think, three inch pipe, and now I did the four inch and shortened them and miter cut them because I had the tractor flaps on it. It was kind of fun idling and sitting there. Tink to tink to tink to tink to tink to tink. So it was kind of neat, but he built the bed from scratch. He double plated the frame. You can see the flat bar welded on top and bottom to stiffen up the frame a lot. Did the double rams for the dump bed, and then he made his own hydraulic winch in the bed that runs off the back. There was a back port there. And I think unique is putting it mildly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, definitely different. Connor has made this uh, little model here of uh, the OBS King himself truck. The only way to actually make these screw cab trucks is to take two single cabs. I had to cut one in half and then basically make it into a crew cab. Um, the bumpers and toolbox and yeah, and the visor are all scratch built from just plastic and then I 3D printed the leaf springs and the steps 
and then painted those in chrome, and then I did all the paint work, and I bought the wheels and tires off 3D scale parts. Got some contact info? Uh, you got I have a, an Instagram, you got a, you got an Instagram? Uh, it's just my name, Connor Smazzy, and I have a TikTok, Connor's Customs. Uh, yes, we're running out low on stickers, so we are over, it sounds like Steve did the count, we're over 400 trucks here today. It's so impressive. It's pretty rad, huh? It's just impressive. for a simple Oregon show.